Hello, this is a highly exciting video explaining the user have to free vulnerability. To understand this vulnerability, we first need to understand what happens with a normal program in relation to how it allocates and frees blocks of memory. So under normal operation, a program might do the following. Allocate memory, store something to the memory, creates a secondary pointer to access this memory, uses the pointer, and then deletes the memory. <coughs> the pointer now becomes invalid and is known as a dangling pointer. This is because control of the memory block has been passed back to the memory manager. In the use after free vulnerability, the program deletes the memory as before, but it accidentally continues to use a pointer to access that free memory. This is now under the control of the memory manager. The memory manager doesn't delete the contents of the memory, and so the previous contents might still be intact, and this will produce the desired result. However, the memory manager might have reallocated that block of memory to a different part of the program and replaced the contents with something else. This would mean that the result of the program accidentally using the Danklin pointer might be something totally different. Hey, la, la. Therefore, exploitation occurs by finding code that allows the exploit to create a dangling pointer situation and massage the system into gaining access to the free memory block and then fills it with its own data. When the system tries to accidentally reuse a dangling pointer with something like a function pointer, it will hit the exploit data and the exploit gains control of the program. Mitigation against the use after free vulnerability is to ensure that the object in memory is not deleted prematurely and therefore it is kept in memory while it is still in use. This can be done by making sure that the object becomes the master of its own destiny, such as a scheme called reference counting. Each time a reference to the object is created, such as a pointer, the object increments the reference count. Once these references are no longer used by the program, they are released and the object decrements the count. The object deletes its own memory once the count reaches zero, as there are no longer any references to the memory, thereby avoiding the use-after-free vulnerability. Shiver me timbers!